Today, I'll show you how to make this type of detailed floor easily. Using a random image as my light source so we can get interesting reflections on the ground. So the easiest and simplest way is to just use a roughness map. This can work in some cases and you can get easy results. Make sure it's scaled properly and textures does not look blurry if it does either scale it down or use a higher resolution texture. Connect it to roughness and bump and adjust the black and white values with the help of a gradient node. Use the gradient node to adjust the roughness and bump intensity till it looks good. You'll get some interesting results within seconds. The second method is a little time-taking, yet it's super easy. So basically, what you do is overlay different texture on top of each other. For instance, here, I'm using a broken tile texture from Quixel. You can use any sets of texture. It doesn't have to be these only. Now there's two things to keep in mind. First, make sure it's scaled properly and makes sense with rest of the environment. Second, use Gradient Map to control the roughness and specular values. Texture will look bad if it's unnecessarily reflective. There should be a contrast so that it looks good overall. After tweaking these values, we have our base layer ready of the floor. I'll add one more texture to make it a little bit more detailed. You can add multiple. It's up to you. I'm using this damaged asphalt texture from Quixel. Now select the second plane and move it around the z-axis till you have find that sweet spot. And at last for adding wetness to the floor, we will add another plane, but this time with a specular material. For proper overlaying of different planes, go to the orthographic view and in wireframe mode, move the planes accordingly. And having a render preview open will save you some time. Now that our ground is ready, we can add some additional props to make it look even better. I'll cover different ways to make emission textures and shaders in the upcoming videos. Hope you learned something new and if you have any questions comment down below.